Hi, welcome to Cairns in the Northern Tropics of Australia. This is a place where visitors come from all over the world to enjoy the lush rainforests, the white sand and calm waters of the pristine beaches, the tranquil swimming holes and creeks that meander through forests, and the nightlife that caters to the needs of party goers and visitors alike. North Queensland and Cairns is a tourist mecca, but there's more. Each weekend, hundreds of people fire up their motorbikes and hit the roads to enjoy the scenery and freedom that's offered by the four ranges which connect the coast to the vast network of roads in the Tablelands. North Queensland is motorcycle heaven. And one man with an extreme passion in this area is Ian Hopkins, a retired businessman who's been in the area since around 1976. He began collecting uh, special motorcycles and paraphernalia from around the world about 15 years ago. And Hoppy now houses his special collection in his Australian Motor Showroom and Museum, which he recently opened to support the Royal Flying Doctor Service. George, I've been here since 1976 and uh, been really fortunate to be involved in all sorts of uh, industries in Cairns, fishing industry. Um, I'm on various boards here and been involved in lots of, you know, and I'm just very passionate about Cairns and uh, we, all these other things that are in Cairns need to be promoted as well, yeah. you know, because it's just so much to do. And um, because of all those things and the, and the variety of people that come to Cairns um, led me into what we've developed here and uh, giving something back to the community, you know. something special out there is uh, Gary Nixon who I got to know in America um, absolutely fantastic guy put Triumph on the map back uh, in the 50s uh, and 60s um, and of course Triumph just took off after that he won the number one plate you know and he rode in a day when uh, they weren't multi-million dollar contracts he rode for the company like one guy was a mechanic one guy was the salesman and one guy was the rider and those guys effectively put motorcycling on the map, you know. He sent over a set of letters for me that I've got hanging out there. He's, um, I've got lots of signed stuff that Gary gave me and uh, he gave me a beautiful big print out there, you know. Um, unfortunately, last year, um, Gary went in to have a stint put in and that went okay, but he didn't make it on the recovery table. So, you know, that story now, you can't duplicate that, George, you know, you can't, say I'll go and see him again you can't see him again mm. but I did see him you know I mean uh, up until uh, 2008 I mean he was just someone I read about 2008 onwards well we, we were in America a few times uh, and um, it was just unbelievable you know and I've got that history now you know? Mm. Uh, well that's special for me part of Cairns, that's how I'd like to, to be seen, it's part of Cairns that people will go away so when they want to go to Cairns next year uh, for a holiday, um, the kids might go to the reef or the, you know, a beautiful pool down on the Esplanade, mum might want to go, dad will call in here, you know, and then 
go on something else. So I'd like it to be part of that in the future. Whether you're a motorcycle enthusiast or not, this is a collection that you really need to see. So keep your eyes open for the next open day at the Australian Motor Museum and come along and say hi to Hoppy.